Hello and welcome to our online worship for All Saints Day. My name is Jo Neary and I'm the team vicar in the Bemminster team. It's really good to be with you as we worship together. It's very dark. <laughs> We're recording in the afternoon, um, sort of 4.30ish. And I'm very aware, as I'm sure you will be, that of course the clocks have gone back. So now what would normally be a perfect light to film in seems really dark. Uh, and it's Halloween actually as well. We're recording a little early this week. Uh, and uh, we don't really do Halloween in the vicarage <laughs> so we'll be closing our curtains and not answering our door. Uh, there's a school of thought that actually we should really engage shouldn't we and it's a missional opportunity and we've done that in the past with light parties and we've given away things at the vicarage gate and we've done lots of different things but I'm afraid uh, this year we're just hiding. But I hope you were okay uh, whatever you chose to do through the season of Halloween but of course this week is All Saints, All Souls uh, and we're heading into that season of remembrance. So our service today remembers the saints, those who have gone before us. And they might be the people who we have named and celebrated in feast days and by naming churches after them, but also just the ordinary men and women of God who went before us. Perhaps those who shaped our faith, those who influenced us, or those wise hymn writers, or those who lead us to the faith, brave people who fought for uh, their faith to be recognised, lots of different contexts in which people of God have witnessed to God's love. But that's who we remember as we gather to worship today. So we have a service of the word for All Saints Day. We don't have a sermon as such this week, we just have a reflection, a short poem actually, to reflect on the season of All Saints. Uh, our reading is from Matthew's Gospel and Jackie has written some intercessions for us. We haven't recorded her doing them, I'm going to read them on her behalf, but they are Jackie's words. So let's prepare to worship God. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We are who we are today because of those whose lives have touched ours and who have let our lives touch theirs. Believing that those who have died in Christ are risen with Christ, we trust in that great company of heaven, the saints that no one can number. And so on this Feast of All Saints, we offer to God our thanksgiving and gratitude for those whose lives have shaped us, those whose hands have held us, those whose voices have inspired us, those whose eyes have beheld us. Amen. So we sing our hymn together. We come to our prayer of confession. Let us confess to God the sins and the shortcomings of the world 
its pride, its selfishness, its greed, its evil distortions and hatreds. Let us confess our share in what is wrong and our failure to seek and establish that peace which God wills for all God's children. We keep a time of silence. Lord, you are gracious and compassionate. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are loving to all and your mercy is over all your creation. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Your faithful servants, bless your name and speak of the glory of your kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. God, who is both power and love, forgive us and free us from our sins. Heal and strengthen us by the Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ our Lord. Amen. And we pray the collect prayer for the Feast of All Saints. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose people are knit together in one holy church, the mystical body of your Son, Grant us grace to follow your blessed saints in lives of faith and commitment and to know the inexpressible joys you have prepared for those who love you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our reading is from Matthew's Gospel. Matthew chapter 5 verses 1 to 12. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in hearts, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my accounts. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. As we come to this time of remembering and reflecting and thinking back into the past, we're also very mindful of the current state of the world. For those who are called to be peacemakers at the moment. For people like us who need to witness to our faith in what we do and what we say, how we interact with the world. And for recognising that we're part of a worldwide community, a community that stretches back into the past and forward into the future, but that our lives are connected inextricably with other humans around the world. Sometimes it's easy to feel a bit insulated, a bit isolated from the suffering of the world. But Jesus was very clear in his uh, Beatitudes, the reading we've just heard from Matthew from the Sermon on the Mount, that actually in the kingdom of God, the values of the world are turned upside down. And it isn't the powerful and the rich and the safe and the secure who will triumph and have victory in the kingdom of God. It's those who are oppressed, those who mourn, those who are meek in spirit, those who are humble, those who are peacemakers. When we do the work of the kingdom, we let go of some of the values of the world And both we are transformed and the communities we serve are transformed. And so in this time of reflection on All Saints Day, as we ponder those 
blessings that Jesus suggests for those who have very little. We're joined in unity, in solidarity, in suffering and in prayer with those for whom those blessings are necessary now, here on earth as in heaven. So this poem is written by Jean Murdoch. It's called As Annette and it helps us remember that solidarity we have with our fellow humans around the world. Help us to realise that we are part of each other, part of the whole world, intertwined as a net. Broaden our thinking, stretch our imagination, Make us aware that in both giving and taking, we are part of the whole. In our hands is the ability to destroy or build up. Help us to make our choices wisely. Amen. So let us affirm our faith in God. We believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love. We believe in God the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Jackie has prepared some intercessions, which I share with you now. So let us pray. Jesus blessed the peacemakers and called them children of God. Heavenly Father, if ever we needed peacemakers, it is now. Your fragile world is in utter turmoil with war in Ukraine and Gaza and conflicts in Syria, Afghanistan, Yemen, Iran and many other places. We know that it is the innocent who suffer most in these circumstances. And so we pray for people who have been forced from their homes only to find inhumane conditions without food, water or safe shelter. Lord, please walk alongside them and if it necessary, carry them. Give them strength and courage to endure until there is hope for the future. Bless all who bring aid in what seem like hopeless conditions in our sad world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the leaders of all nations and those in authority, that they may hunger and thirst for justice, reconciliation and peace, instead of despotic power and vengeance. May their hearts and minds be open to your will and may they strive for the good of all and lead with integrity, mercy and compassion. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the Church of Christ Jesus throughout the world and especially those who undergo persecution for their faith. We thank you that you have the freedom to call Jesus Lord and worship here today without fear. We pray for our clergy and all who are seeking a new way forward in the Beminster team. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are less fortunate than ourselves, those who have been flooded in the recent storms, those who continue day by day to sleep on the street, many who are worried about a shortfall in finances or who are anxious about work or relationships. Bless those who bring aid and please let them show mercy, for mercy will be shown to them. We pray for the food bank in Beminster and all who support it. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord of all, all wholeness and holiness, we bring to you today the elderly who are finding life a challenge. Anyone who is ill, in hospital or awaiting treatment. Give doctors, nurses and all who care, patience and gentle healing hands. 
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Jesus said that those who mourn will be comforted. We pray for all who have been bereaved, especially this week when we remember all souls, that they may find support from friends, family and neighbours. May they find solace where it is offered and they will be most welcome in our tea in Beminster for our cafe, bereavement cafe on Monday. May the souls of the faithful departed rest in peace and rise in glory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Risen Christ, who has broken the bonds of death and evil, shine on us and those for whom we pray today with your eyes of compassion and glory. Let your light flood the darkness in us and in our world and make us bearers of your healing hand for all people and your total forgiveness on which we all depend. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. So we join our prayers together in the words that Jesus taught us, praying, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Holy and merciful God, write the Beatitudes on our hearts and into our lives and help us with all your saints to seek your face and walk in your ways through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So we pray for God's blessing. May God, who kindled the fire of his love in the hearts of the saints, pour upon you the riches of his grace. May God give you the joy in their fellowship and a share in their praises. May God strengthen you to follow them in the way of holiness and to come to the full radiance of God. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Thank you for joining us for our worship for all saints. If you're watching this before 4pm on the 5th of November, you'd be very welcome to find us in St Mary's Beminster as we have our All Souls service where we remember all those who have died. You'd be very welcome to be there too. But other than that, take care, stay safe and we'll see you again very soon. Bye bye.